Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. And welcome to In 5 Minutes or Less with Peter Silva. And today I'm going to show you In 5 Minutes or Less the new IP Intelligence Service available in Big IP version 11.2. Of course, I don't need to tell you that there's still security challenges out there on the big bad internet. 54% of hacking breaches in larger organizations happen at the web application. We still see SQL injection as one of the primary methods that attackers use to gain entry. There are denial of service tools, anonymous proxies, and of course, over the last couple of years, the rise in hacktivism. Now, threat detection today hinges on a couple of elements identifying suspicious activity among the billions of data points and then of course refining that large set of suspicious incidents down to those that matter and so f5 is now offering ip intelligence service a layer of ip threat protection and an additional way to allow administrators to defend against malicious activity and web attacks so let's start the clock so I've logged on to a Big IP local traffic manager that has a Big IP application security module on there. The Big IP intelligence service is available throughout all Big IP systems. It's configurable in the Big IP ASM UI and then accessible from iRules for all of the other Big IP systems. And it comes in either a one-year or a three-year subscription. It's a cloud-based architecture. And to find out if you have it, you would go under System and License. And then right here, you can see the IPI subscription three-year. And so once that's enabled, you would click on Application Security, the ASM piece. And then there's this IP Addresses location here. And you would just click on, whoops. IP address intelligence and so here's the IP address intelligence configuration area and you can see these are the eight um, categories that we are blocking against Windows exploits web attacks botnet scanners DOS and so forth if you're not sure what any of these categories entail if you just click on that little uh, exclamation point or information I should say <laughs> upside down exclamation point it'll tell you exactly what's covered within that category the scanners category includes all reconnaissance such as probes host scan domain scan and password brute force and so each one of these has a particular description so you can understand better and you can see it's pretty easy you can either select them all to alarm or block select certain ones to do something specific now you may have you may have uh, probes or scanners out there that you have relationships relationships with for analytics or other types of information gathering and you might just want to alarm uh, that's going on you know potentially to allow them through that would be this upper area in the IP address whitelist you might also want to just set an alarm to know what's going on and then send that malicious user to a honey honeypot maybe gather up forensic evidence for what's going on now this being a cloud-based architecture the uh, IP intelligence list is actually updated every five minutes well it's it's updated continuously but you get the updates every five minutes and so you, if you click right on here you can see the total number of IP addresses now in the database is is coming close to what is that six million IP addresses and since the last update a new IP address was added and so you might say hey I got a WAF I got an IDS I got an IPS on the back end that protects against this type of malicious activity but the challenge with that is that it actually makes it through your edge to then get to that device to be blocked in this instance on the big IP it is blocked right at the edge in that strategic point of control in the data center and so up here IP and address intelligence uh, configuration you can add you know addresses to the whitelist like I mentioned earlier maybe you have a partnership with an organization not too and that's added and the cool thing about this list being updated 
you know, so often is that you don't really have to worry about managing a white list or a black list or anything else. It'll just keep updating. So it'll go out, you know, probe the internet, find out all the nasties that are there and add them to the list. And so it doesn't allow any of those malicious activities to get in. The cool thing is that it'll also block anything going out, say overnight. One of the machines in your internal network gets affected and the next morning it starts trying to call out and reach out to its botnet mommy. It'll even stop that particular machine from the inside of your network from even being able to get out and connect to that botnet. And so you also have, you can create this uh, whitelist here or the IP address exceptions list. This is a little bit more granular in this instance. And here, dot zero. And then here you can see, um, you know, policy policy builder trusted IP. And so, you know, when you're building a policy within ASM, and you can be kind of granular here in terms of what you would like to enable and not enable. And then you just click create, and there you have it. And so there it is, the IP intelligence service available on the big IP, all big IPs, version 11.2 with the IP address, the IPI one year or three year subscription. So thanks for watching. This is Peter Silva for F5 Networks. Visit us online at www.f5.com or follow us on Twitter at F5 Networks.